Every year, realtors potentially lose tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars in GCI due to failed follow-up. And the biggest reason is usually they don't have their CRM dialed in correctly. And one of the biggest issues that I usually see when they don't have their CRM dialed in is the lack of effective smart plans or email drip campaigns. So today in the next video of the Getting Started with Lofty series, we're gonna go through smart plans inside of Lofty and teach you everything you need to know about them and how to make them effective. What's up everyone? I'm Adam Gillespie and I help realtors level up their game by the responsible and ethical use of AI and practical applications of their CRM inside their business. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more awesome tutorials on everything you need to know as a realtor for AI and CRMs in your business. Okay, so before we jump in, I just wanted to kind of put out a little disclaimer, right? I'm going to show you guys what smart plans are on Lofty and how to use them and I'm even going to show you guys some candy emails and canned campaigns. And for those of you that have never been around a CRM before, canned means just pre-written, okay? Pre-written campaigns are not very effective. So what I'm gonna show you guys today is how to find some of these campaigns and then actually give your own spin and or twist on those to kind of put your personality at the forefront because that's really what makes these campaigns effective. It's not that there's some magic words in there, it's that we need to use this time that we have to nurture these leads to let them know more about us and how we do business so they can learn to know, like, and trust us through these campaigns that are done automatically while we go out and do more dollar generating activities. So let's go ahead and jump in, but just keep that in mind. Have you ever wondered how top agents are doubling their sales and saving multiple hours each week? Well, what if I told you the secret lies in AI? So check this out. I've got a free masterclass that'll change the way you do business. In the free masterclass, I'm going to show you how AI can totally transform your real estate business. Now imagine saving multiple hours every week, boosting your productivity and skyrocketing your sales. With AI, you can automate your tasks, create engaging content and close more deals effortlessly. This masterclass is packed with strategies that are going to change the game for you. And here's Here's the best part. We're not just talking about theory. You're going to learn how to use ChatGPT to create SEO optimized blogs, write high converting ad copy, manage your calendar, and so much more. These are real tools that you can start using today. This course is brand new, but it's already the best in the industry. And we're giving you all the cutting edge strategies that you need to lead the pack. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below to register for this free masterclass. And don't miss out on this game changing opportunity. You can revolutionize your real estate business with AI. So register now and take the first step toward becoming a market leader. I'll see you in the masterclass. All right, guys, so here we are inside of Lofty. You're gonna be on the marketing tab here and come down to Smart Plans. They recently updated Lofty, so when you do click this marketing tab, it's gonna take you to the dashboard, but you just come over here to the left-hand side, click Smart Plans, and here we are. On the front page of the Smart Plans, you're going to see that we have all of the Smart Plans that we've created or that we have imported, okay? So this might be blank for you if you're just now getting started with Lofty. But as you start to build your own campaigns, those are going to appear here. And if you scroll down, you're going to see that it actually shows a smart plan report. So this is where you can see each individual smart plan, what it's doing and how it's performing, even what the open rates are. So as you'll see here on my behavior of back to the website, this is a behavioral drip and I'll get into showing you guys uh, what, what that is on another video as well. I got a 77.14 open rate, which is great, right? So this is just kind of our front area that you're going to see. If you look up here, we have other tabs. We have, first off, we have a guide. This is actually something new that Lofty just put in, but if you click that, this this is going to show you kind of a little pie chart here, but it shows the systems and segments for smart plans. Okay. So we have initial contacts. So if you were to click this, you can start a smart plan that's designed for initial contact and reach out, right? Then we have the nurturing side. You have opportunity capture, property marketing, transaction, and after closing. So in a nutshell, you're going to create drips eventually for every single piece of these process. Now, if you're in Lofty and you're at the initial contacts and you hit this button right here, 
it's just gonna take you to a brand new smart plan that's already set to run like this, but it doesn't have anything in the actions. So it's just blank. And a lot of you are gonna be sitting there going, well, I don't know how to create a smart plan from scratch. Well, neither did I at first, right? So this is what we're gonna do, is you're gonna go ahead and leave that section there, getting back to our smart plan section. And you're gonna see we have uh, uh, some more tabs right here. We have the group smart plans, which is gonna be any smart plans that are available through your group. I don't have any because I'm not part of a group. I am on a user account for EXP. So you will see that we have these company smart plans that they've written and given to us in EXP. Um, I, I'm not saying anything bad about that, but once again, canned email plans aren't really the way to go. I use them for frequency usage, but not for the actual content inside the emails, okay? So if you are part of a company that offers smart plans, you'll find those here. Otherwise, Lofty has a library and it's a pretty extensive library actually. And uh, they, they have it up here to where you can kind of segment everything out. So if you wanted to do a Lofty starter plan, a drip campaign, a workflow or an automation, you can segment out each of those individually based on these filters up here, right? Once again, these are canned drips. Some of them are custom to other companies that are within the Lofty environment, right? Because these can be shared publicly, right? So if we were to come over here to our buyer leads right here, and let's grab an initial contact reach out, right? You can see here that we've got a couple of different options and some of them say workflow, some of them say starter plan and some of them say drip campaign. Well, what the differences are is that a drip campaign is typically just gonna be emails or one type of reach out, right? A workflow is gonna be a mixture between emails, text messages, tasks, other stuff like that that we can put inside there like checklists and everything like that that actually creates a whole workflow, right? I'll get into workflows a little bit later today I just want to show you guys how to kind of get started with this, right? Let's come down here and let's just grab this buyer lead registered on website drips, right? This is a drip campaign for an initial contact and it runs for 12 days. So let's see what that looks like. If you click this here, you can see a little preview. This one says, thanks for stopping by. Hey, thank you for stopping by on our website. It shows your website for Lofty uh, to search for homes. Our website's updated every 20 minutes with fresh listed homes. It contains the most accurate listing info. If you have any questions, blah, blah, blah. It's the, like I said, the language isn't the best on there, right? But what we're here for is we're here for the frequency. So we can see that that email goes out five minutes after the smart drip is, is applied. And then the next email comes out two days later. And then we wait two days later and so on and so forth. And then it goes through over that 12 days to try to get them on the phone or to get them to book an appointment with us, right? So if we wanted to take this campaign and make it our own, what we would do is just click this button right here and this would import it into our library. Okay, so now we have the whole plan set up. So first and foremost, we have our save button here. Um, and then we have our tab settings, trigger and action. Settings is basically the initial setup of the drip. This is where we're gonna name the plan, right? So I'm gonna put test near this because I have so many other drips in there that I don't want to fool myself into thinking this is a, a real one that I'm setting up for, for use, right? For here, we got the targeting lead type. So it's buyer, renter, or other, and then seller or buyers. What this does is this allows the drip to show up on these lead types. So in Lofty, if we have a lead set up as a seller and we try to put a buyer drip on there, we won't even be able to see that buyer drip because Lofty won't make it available to that lead because it's not listed as a buyer. So as we're setting up these drips, it's important that we have this target lead type chosen correctly so that way we can actually get these drips applied to the leads that we're trying to build them for. Down here we have an auto apply. I'm going to get into that in just a moment and then an auto reapply. This is a newer setting that Lofty just started. Basically this is to be able to reapply this if for some reason they didn't reach out the first time and and we wanted to have it reapplied later, we can now reapply it. Before we couldn't do that, you had to delete the smart plan and then, and then restart it. And then we have auto pause. And since this is an initial reach out plan that's designed to get in contact with the client to book an appointment, auto pause is something that we do wanna consider because we don't wanna book an appointment with the plan or with the lead and then turn around and have it send another appointment request after we already booked that appointment. So what I would do is click auto pause right here and then when the lead responds or reaches out, right? And then we're not gonna take any actions after that. We can keep going and have it do other stuff, but for now, we're just gonna have it pause this plan if they respond or reach out, okay? 
And then next is gonna be the trigger. So we're gonna wanna trigger this automatically, right? Because what good is a CRM that's not automated, right? So let's go ahead and click when the lead is created. Okay, and then this box is gonna pop up here. We're gonna select a field. So this is gonna be the conditions of what's gonna start this automation, right? So we know the automation is gonna start when a lead is created, but what about that lead? So let's just go ahead and click source. Source is, and then the value is gonna be our website, okay? So we can come down here and search because there's gonna be a bunch of sources there, but we're gonna come over here and search website or agent website, there we go agent website. So basically what happens is when a new lead that's created from our website, our agent website, this is going to start this automation. Okay. So that's our automation there. And then what you're going to do is click auto apply. We'll leave auto reapply off for now, just because this is, it, it'll complicate things. Uh, I'll show you guys how to do auto reapplies later. Um, but usually I just build it inside the drip for how many times I want it to do uh, uh, a reapply. And I never do the same drip twice. So uh, we'll talk about that here in just a little bit. The next tab over is going to be actions. So you're going to come over here to actions and you're going to see it's already got our whole drip campaign built, right? So what it does is it's waiting for five minutes. It's going to be an auto email and here's the subject of the email and here's the body of the email, right? It's super simple from this point forward, guys. We can edit this any way we want. You can keep it the same if you'd like. I always say to change it because when I do email campaigns or initial reach out campaigns, I like to do one of two things. I either auto text to set an appointment or I'm emailing them information and education so that way I can build rapport via email and I'm not asking them to buy. I'm not giving these sales pitches, right? Where it's trying to find out what their time frame is, when they're ready to buy. Let's schedule a meeting so we can get you on your journey to buy a home. Like all of that stuff isn't any good anymore and people don't want to hear it. They want you to provide value first. So that's what I focus on when I'm creating these emails, right? And you guys all know me. I use ChatGPT to do this stuff. Full disclosure, I'll show you guys in another video exactly how we can use ChatGPT to create these emails. But for this one here, I would just use chat GPT. So what I would do is I would copy this right here and then let's bring this into chat GPT. Um, hang on one second here. I'm going to actually create this right here with you guys live. Let's just do it, right? That's what this is all about anyways. Okay. So we're just going to go on a regular instance of chat GPT 4.0 for now, just for simplicity sakes. Now, now when you do this, I hope that you guys followed my other videos that showed you how to create your AI clone inside of chat GPT. So that way we can change these emails to really sound like us. So actually I am going to go ahead and pull my clone up just so you guys can see how effective this really is. Okay. So here we are inside of AI Adam, and then we have lofty over here on this screen, right? So I'm going to go ahead and control copy this, and then I'm going to come over here. And since the AI clones already completely programmed to my speech patterns, I don't have to do much. I just say rewrite this. All right, rewrite this email in my style, throw a colon in there and go ahead and paste that and then watch what happens, guys. So here we go. Hey, lead first name. And it actually puts the variables right where it's supposed to be. So that way we can just copy and paste these right into Lofty and all of this stuff will go uh, perfect. So thanks for checking out our site and starting your home search with us. Our listings are updated every 20 minutes. So you're always seeing the freshest, most accurate information out there. Got questions about the listing or home buying process? Give me a call or shoot me an email. I'm here to help. No BS. So as you can see, guys, that used my style of speaking to go ahead and, and rewrite that email, which gives it that flair of my personality. Now let's do something a little bit more. I, I promise I'm not going to make this an entire tutorial on chat GPT, but chat GPT and our CRMs run hand in hand, right? So for this one here, let's say, let's ask them to basically, we want it to set up a meeting, right? So I'm going to say, I want the email to attempt to set a 15 minute appointment. Okay. And uh, let's see, we can say, please use advanced NLP for the email. And remember my style. Sometimes ChatGPT doesn't like to remember that we're inside of our AI clones. So every once in a while, we give it a gentle nudge and let it know like, hey, we are actually trying to do this in our style. So let's see what it says here. Uh, hey, lead first name. Thanks for checking out our site and starting your home search with us. Our listings are updated every 20 minutes. So you're always the freshest and most accurate information out there. It's actually, it's real time now. These are IDX straight up into the uh, into the website. So I say in real time on mine. Um, got questions about a listing and home buying process. Let's set up a quick 15 minute call to go over everything and get you on the right track. Hit me up with what uh, time works for you, or you can book directly here. And then it gives us the link for our calendar, right? So this one's not too bad. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just take that, 
go back over to Lofty and paste it. And it's that simple, guys. So here we are there. Now what we'd want to do is go grab that uh, link to our calendar and put that in here, right? And then that way your calendar links right in there. But that's the email, right? So then you can come right back down here to the next one, which is going to wait two days. And then it's going to send another email at 930. And here we go. Do you have a particular neighborhood in mind? So let's come back. Let's grab this. And now ChatGPT kind of knows what we're going for here. So now it's saying, now do this one. Like, it's literally that simple. I don't have to give it a bunch of detailed prompts in this scenario because I've already got my AI clone programmed and that's why it's so important. So if you haven't yet, check out my previous videos or even better yet, click the link in the description below for my free masterclass where I will actually walk you through step-by-step -step exactly how to clone yourself into ChatGPT. And then we are gonna get even more value when Louis Galt comes on and shows you how to use ChatGPT to manage your calendar and get control over your productivity inside your business and then finally the man himself Mike Sherrard is going to come in there and show you guys how to create endless video content with chat GPT and how to create the perfect Facebook ad inside of chat GPT these are all super in-depth tutorials that'll show you everything you need to know and it's absolutely free just click the link below in the description and sign up for the free masterclass and you will be ready to rock with your own AI clone and endless content to match so with that being said Let's see what ChatGPT wrote out for us. So it says, hey, I saw you register on my website and been checking out some listings. I get it. Buying a home is a huge decision and it can be overwhelming. If you're not sure where to start, that's where I come in. Choosing the right neighborhood is often the first step in finding your home. Do you have a specific area in mind? Need some advice on where to look? Let's chat and get you pointed in the right direction. Let's just say, please attempt to set the appointment on each email. Okay. <clears throat> now that I've given it that detailed instruction there, it's going to do that from now on. So here we go. Hey, I saw you registered on my website and I'm checking out some listings. I get it. Buying a home is a huge decision and can be overwhelming. Choosing the right neighborhood is often the first step. So it's, du it's duplicated that for us. Now it says, let's set up a quick 15 minute call to discuss your options and get you pointed in the right direction. Hit me up with the time that works for you. You can book directly in. Perfect. That's what we want. All right. So we're going back over to Lofty and you just paint, uh, paste that right back in there. You can come in here and have ChatGPT recreate these uh, email signature or these email subjects for you if you want as well. This is where it gets fun in my opinion because we're taking a pre-written drip campaign and we're personalizing it to ourselves and making it a little bit better via ChatGPT which has scrubbed the entire web for pretty much everything. So it's the best marketer out there. So this is how we get effective drip campaigns going in, right? So what you guys are gonna do is you're gonna continue to go down the list. Copy this one, paste it into uh, ChatGPT. Let's do it one more time and just see if ChatGPT remembered the instructions we gave it, right? So let's say, now do this one. <clears throat> and you can even say the same as the last one right? So that way it, it understands that we're trying to repeat those uh, instructions. All right. So here it goes. Last time I asked about what kind of neighborhood you like to live in is crucial because your environment influences your quality of life and can determine which schools your kid will attend. I'd love to learn more about exactly what you're looking for so I can help you find that perfect home. Buying a home is a big decision and you don't have to go at it alone. Let's set up a quick 15 minute call to discuss your needs and figure out how I can help you find the ideal place. Hit me up with the time that works. Perfect. Awesome. So as you can see, we're starting to build a very uh, custom drip campaign right here. It's, it's awesome. And we just keep going down the list until we're done. When you're done, you're just going to go ahead and click save. And then that is going to be stored in this area here. I have so many that I've created. So we're going to, I'm sorry, actually, this is the, uh, <laughs> this is the, uh, the library still, but once we've saved that, you're going to go back over to your smart plans and it's going to be over here. Now I've created a few. So our, ours is going to come down here at the bottom, I think, or maybe I skipped it. Hang on. Let's go back. There it is right here. Buyer lead registered on website drip test. Okay. So here it is. You see the auto apply toggle is on. So that means that anytime a lead comes through my website with that source, it's going to start this, right? So that's pretty much it in a nutshell, creating a smart plan inside of Lofty. All right, guys. So that's the basics on how to create a smart plan on Lofty and even using their library to import in some can campaigns and then customizing them in ChatGP to make them your own. Now, this is just the surface of smart campaigns. I'm going to show you guys so much more in the future videos of how we can fully automate this CRM. So that way you can be one of those agents that has a CRM that 
that works in the background for you. And like I said at the beginning of the video, if you have this dialed in, this can result in tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars a year, more in GCI just by improving your follow-up. So if you found value from this video, make sure that you hit the like button, comment below. Let me know what CRM are you using? Do you use drip campaigns? Have you tried chat GPT to create drip campaigns? Let's get the conversation started so we can help each other grow and make sure to subscribe to the channel. So that way you guys can stay on top of all things lofty, all things CRMs and all things AI. Until next video, have a great one.